Hey friends, it's Stacy with Keizu Keto and we've got another episode of Cookbook Keto for you. We are making a skillet lasagna and this recipe is coming from alldayidreamaboutfood.com and with that we are going to make a Welsh rarebit. This recipe I'm ketoizing. It came from a book series that I've been reading that they have tons of recipes in there. Um, so, and I haven't made that before either, so we'll see how that turns out. For the skillet lasagna, I did make a few substitutions for the ingredients. One thing being, I'm using these palmini lasagna noodles instead of cutting up zucchini and going that route. Uh, but we also are subbing tomato sauce for pureed tomatoes. You also need ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese, minced garlic, oil, you can use avocado oil, you can use coconut oil, whatever you want to use. This is basically just for browning your meat, which of course usually you use beef. We're using ground turkey. Then we've got our seasonings and spices. We've got the salt, we've got the pepper, we've got the red chili, red pepper flakes, chili flakes, whatever they are, and the Italian seasoning. For anybody that doesn't know, palmini is made from hearts of palm, so it's basically a noodle made out of a plant. I'm going to follow the directions on the can because I have never used this for anything before. We have had palmini in the past, but Greg used it for uh, spaghetti and I was not involved in the cooking of that, so I don't know what he did. Um, but basically what you do is rinse and drain it and then you prepare it and bake it if you're doing regular lasagna. We're not doing regular lasagna, but it does have a tip on the back that if you want a softer texture, which yes, yes we do, you um, boil it in water for five to ten minutes. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to drain this and then I've got a pan on the stove that's getting ready to boil, so then we're going to boil it up real quick. That's not at all what I was expecting. Doesn't smell great. They do have a bit of a weird texture. It kind of looks like plastic and feels like soft plastic. <laughs> I don't know, it's strange. And they definitely smell like a plant. I'm also mixing up the steps a little bit because it says to put some oil in the pan and brown up your garlic and your red hot red hot chili peppers. <laughs> Run up your garlic and your chili pepper flakes, but Greg tells me never ever do the garlic first because it could burn, so, and nobody wants burned garlic. So we are browning up the ground chicken right now, and I'm using my handy dandy little, whatever this is called, meat smasher, meat separator, I don't know. And I'm getting the chicken chicken. I'm getting the turkey smashed up, crumbled, whatever. Whatever this is called. I, my brain's not functioning. Once this is mostly done, then I will put in the garlic and the red pepper flakes. Turkey's mostly browned, so now I'm going to add in my garlic, which is two cloves. And for this, half a teaspoon is one clove, so we only need one teaspoon, and our red pepper flakes, which is a half a teaspoon. What if you wanted it spicier? Could you add more? You can add more at the end. Ugh. Kind of mix those up so they kind of meld their flavors, but don't burn your garlic. That's had a few minutes to meld together so now we're going to put in a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, half of a teaspoon of ground black pepper, three quarters of a teaspoon of pink salt. We're going to mix this all in. That's all mixed in there so now we're going to add in our noodles and you know you can also use if you like the low carb um, actual pasta noodles and you're going for more of a dirty keto approach you can definitely those are hot you can definitely use that too um, but I kind of and I probably would have but I wanted to try these out and see how 
they taste. If this is actually a pr pretty good meal, it's probably the route I'm going to go in the future. I have yet to see any kind of like cognac noodle that's a lasagna noodle. They do have fettuccine, so I guess you could do it that way, but it, then is it really lasagna? I mean, I guess this isn't really lasagna either because it's not being baked in a casserole dish, but whatever. With that, we're going to add in one cup of the tomato sauce or pureed tomatoes, whatever it is that you're using. And then we're going to stir it up and let that cook for a little bit. It's going to further soften the noodles. And then it's also going to allow them to take on some of those flavors that we have going on in here. I thought it would be better to split the noodles into smaller pieces. And I was able to do that with my spoon. So I'm pretty sure these are pretty, pretty well tender. Let's go on to the next step. And that would be reducing your heat to medium low. We'll turn this down. And we're going to add our cheese on top. I'm just kind of spreading it out a little bit more. First, we're going to take our ricotta, and it says a cup. Um, I'm going to guesstimate, and you're supposed to dollop it. So I'm going to just dollop. Like multiple dollops? Well, do you want like one giant cup dollop in the middle of it? Uh. If you want that, we can do that. We might have a little more than a cup. That's okay because ricotta's good. Dolloping is done. Put on a quarter cup of Parmesan. We're supposed to use uh, the fresh stuff. The fresh stuff is really expensive and I feel like I've got enough money wise into this with the ground turkey and the palmini noodles. So, and I'm not measuring, I'm just being guesstimating again. Sprinkle that over it. And then the last one is the mozzarella cheese. Again, I'm not going to measure, I'm going to estimate, but it's a cup and a half according to the recipe. If you've been following us for a while, you know that there's never enough cheese for me. I think that's good. Now we put a cover on it and let it simmer until all the cheese is melted and bubbly. We don't have a lid big enough to fit this, so we're going to MacGyver it. If you do the same thing, don't burn yourself with a pot holder. And we're going to set that aside for now. While we're waiting for that to be done, we're going to go ahead and get started on the Welsh rarebit. So here's what you need for it. Cream of tartar, salt, dry mustard, eggs, hot sauce, pepper, ground pepper. You're supposed to use sharp cheese, sharp, 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 <laughs> sharp shredded cheddar cheese. We didn't, ha we don't have that, so we have cheddar jack. We're gonna try it with that. Not that I've made this before to know what the difference would be, but we'll find out eventually. And then this is where it makes it dirty keto because this is the Costco keto friendly. Um, it's the zero carb. Yeah, zero carb bread, but it does have the, the gluten stuff in it, the vital weight gluten or whatever it is that's in it. If you wanna use a more keto friendly type of bread, absolutely go for it and do it. First thing you need to do is turn your oven on to 450 degrees to let it preheat. Then I have an eight inch square baking pan that I've prepared with some parchment paper that I also sprayed with some avocado oil. I have three slices of the bread and I'm going to toast them really well in the toaster. In this corner we have four egg whites and one eighth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. In the other corner we have three egg yolks. Yes, that's right, three. You can take your other egg yolk and put it in the fridge and maybe throw it in an omelet or something that you're making the next day. I have half a teaspoon of dry mustard, about a quarter of a teaspoon of 
ground black pepper, a tablespoon of hot sauce, and a quarter teaspoon of the pink salt. We are going to combine this thoroughly. This one is going to get mixed into stiff peaks and it sounds like our toast is done. We have our toast. We're going to go ahead and put that in the pan. And I'm going to break this one in half. Maybe. There we go. Ooh, that was warm on the fingers. So it kind of looks like this. We're just going to set that over there because as you can see I've got my egg yolk mixture mixed up. Now I get to mix up the egg whites and the cream of tartar. You are certainly welcome to do this by hand but I wouldn't recommend it unless you've got a lot of muscles. We're going to take our cheese, about one cup, and we're going to sprinkle it on top of the toast. And as you can see I have my stiff egg whites We're going to mix in the egg yolk hot sauce mixture. Fold it in. Fold it gently so you don't lose your airiness of your egg whites. Are you folding in the cheese? I could fold in some cheese actually. That's all done. Now we're going to gently spoon this over the top. I'm using the spatula to kind of flatten it so it's spread pretty evenly across everything. We're going to put this in the oven for 10 minutes and it's going to puff up huge. It's going to be huge. So are you let down? Doesn't, Not yet. Doesn't, doesn't look like it puffed up like crazy. Well I might have over mixed the egg whites which will do that. Shocker. But whatever I mean it looks like it's good. So Is it supposed to be like some sort of bread thing? Sort of. All right, well, I guess we'll see what happens. So it's you cut it up and serve it immediately. The refrigerator is telling us stuff. Okay. So is it like an appetizer? No, it's like a side. Well then, is this food ready too? That's, yes, that's going to be ready too. But look, it's all melty. Yeah. Yummy. Nate? Nate just got here. You just got here, and we're going to eat in less than 10 minutes. Yes. To be fair, to be fair, it is almost seven o'clock. Sure, Nate, it's on time. Nate's late. Nate is late. I, uh, <laughs> I did not expect food to be ready when I got here. So. Well, you expected two hours, right? He's got an appetizer over there. Yeah, that's true. The dog He's got himself some dog food? Yeah. yeah. Yummy. Uh, it's very special. So I was saying off camera. This is very watery. Not super pleased with that, and Greg says it's because of the way I made it. Yeah. But I was following the directions for preparing it. So I recommend it if you're going to use a cast iron skillet, just put it in the oven rather than let it sit there on whatever it was. Medium low. Medium low. Yeah. So uh, what about Parmesan cheese? Should we have Parmesan cheese too? This is like some sort of lasagna dish. We should probably have that too. I mean, I'm capable of getting it out, insinuating, but I was just asking. <laughs> I took you getting up and getting it as you agreed with me. Well, it's cheese. Of course I agree. Right. You know Stacy's philosophy on cheese. Oh, yes. <laughs> we never have enough cheese. First taste of the noodle, even though I boiled them, even though they cooked forever, they still have a weird crunch to them. There's an odd texture. It's yeah. not a weird crunch. It's that didn't cook them long enough. <laughs> I cooked them. Like, I cooked them. I boiled them for 10 minutes. Yep. And then they cooked, and they cooked, and they cooked, and they cooked. It's fine. I don't mind. It's more of like al dente as opposed to yeah. normal softening. But I don't dig it. But the ricotta is amazing. Well, yeah, sorry. The ricotta is always <laughs> amazing. I prefer my noodles softer, but they don't bother me nearly as much as my green peppers are crunchy. The Welsh rarebit. 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 Welsh rarebit. So let's try that.
It tastes like an egg bake. I didn't put enough. There isn't enough Tabasco sauce in it. Oh, there's hot or, sauce in it? Yeah, there was hot sauce in it, though. Oh. Whatever that stuff is. <clears throat> Chalua? Yeah. I would definitely say there's not enough. I feel like it's... I wanted to make it as a side, but I feel like it's more suited to... Ow, the dog's scratching me. It's more suited to a breakfast. Because of the toast in the egg. <clears throat> but I like it. Yeah, it's not bad. The noodles have the texture of bamboo shoots. Yep. Those are good. I agree. Don't particularly care for bamboo shoots, but the flavor is not that of bamboo shoots, so it's good. Greg yeah. won. By one point. One point! I beat Nate. And all because of my wanderer. That happened to mm -hmm. get in the very end. After going to Nate's place and getting a bunch of extra cards. Yes. Because that was me. Very frustrated of not being able to play anything. Don't forget your log. But Morgan played with us. And although it was challenging, she stuck it through. Oh, and it's now officially her favorite game ever. <laughs> <laughs> but dinner, <laughs> dinner was good. And Jackson's <laughs> getting bit by the little dog, so that's fun. Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh, we tried to come up with something. So, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Food was good. I think everybody liked the food. Yeah. The, what, what was it? Was that new skill? No, the, the side. Welsh rare bit. There you go. Uh, you just had to get her to say it one more time. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't even remember. It's fun to say. Yeah, it's whatever. So, <laughs> it's, it's whatever. It was decent. It was a good deal. Uh, Probably make some changes to it. We eat it again. Like the noodles need to be probably a little softer for everybody. I didn't really mind that yeah. too much. But that's or it for us today. Use different noodles all together. Right. That's it for us today. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, stay keto. And we'll see you in the next video. On the actual noodle that you're using, because I, I thought you, <laughs> I thought you farted, and I was like, seriously. Wow. <laughs> Nice. Why does ground turkey always smell horrible? Mm -hmm. Like it always has this nasty, undescribable odor. Get the rest of my ingredients out for my Welsh rare bit. I like saying it. Yeah, I, obviously. Rare bit. See, you'll like this because you put the hot sauce right in the rare bit. And that would be reduce. Do you need more close-ups? Um, I mean, it would be more entertaining to look at that than to look at me. So you're rolling your eyes at yourself? Yes. No one is safe from the eye roll from Stacy, even herself. You guys right. ever eye rolled yourself? Yeah, I roll myself like daily. <laughs> 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 Seriously. But that was with Pearl Root, which oh, is higher. It, it, it increases. Could the you score. try again? <laughs> Could you try again, Nate? Sure, why not? <laughs> did you want to record or did you already start recording? I think I can record.